Okay, today we're gonna go over why it is bad to retwist your dreadlocks. Touching it up with retwist with combs and different things, you're actually preventing it from locking itself up. So think about it. Welcome back to another video of Activerse Universe today is a new day hey, and we got a what? We got a banger 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 let's go let's go let's go I've never done something outside like this Alright, so today we're going to be talking about why it is bad to retwist your hair very often. We're going to also get into my hair to show you guys what my hair looks like right now. Then we got to a progression to where I'm like, okay, my dreadlock is where it needs to be at for me to dye my dread. So I'm excited for to announce that on the upcoming videos I know I've said last uh, two weeks ago, I think, on one of my videos that I'll be dyeing my hair. So on the next videos, you guys will see the transitioning from black hair or semi dye hair to a new hair color i'm excited to announce what color it is and everything so stay tuned for that video and if you want it to be the next video make sure you hit the thumbs up if you want it to be like the next video you guys have to show me love the like button so i know that you guys are watching and supporting all right one of the reasons the big reasons that i tell people not to retwist their hair is because i went through it the process of you know retwisting my hair using gel using different things and i got to a point where i just retwist my hair with just water which is natural ingredient and one of the biggest reasons I would say is because your dreadlocks automatically is supposed to lock itself up naturally. You have a hair type between 3A to 4, 4C. I believe your hair is uh, at a you know curly, very kinky, almost like it's designed for it to lock up. But the time that I don't get retwist, my hair looks, my hair seems to tangle itself up naturally. And that's to let you know that your hair is naturally looking to tangle itself up together. And that is what you call it, you know, dreadlock process. And what happens during the this process is your hair automatically lock itself up to being a free form or semi free form but also you guys that don't know what free form is free forming is basically letting your hair freely forming like letting it lock itself up and there's a semi free form semi free form is once you have already like a set of dreadlocks and it's already like you know crochet hooked or palm rolled or whatever method that you use to start your dreadlocks and letting it free form after that and that's why it's called semi free form and your hair naturally is supposed to be locking itself up and I know for those of you guys that have you know 2A, 2B, 2C I uh, don't really have a curly hair or it doesn't have a, a hair that automatically tangles itself up so it may be a little bit harder for you guys I actually recommend to using a natural way to locking your hair up and a natural way to retwisting your hair instead of using products and things like that nature during this dreadlock process, if you are touching it up with retwist with combs and different things, you're actually preventing it from locking itself up. So think about it. For example, if I'm taking my dreadlocks right now and I'm bringing my roots, and as you guys can see the roots, you know, brushing the bottom, combing the bottom, automatically detangles what is going on down there. And that's what a lot of people actually do in their locking methods also, which I don't do for my hair because I like to keep it to where I can get into my dreadlocks so that I can wash it too. And the second thing actually is washing your dreadlocks. But washing your dreadlocks to some certain extent, you are touching the roots, you are touching the dreadlocks, you are touching it from getting uh, to where it needs to get to. And that's why I don't recommend for those of you guys, especially that are starting your dreadlocks, not to wash your hair too much because washing your hair detangles your hair. Even though washing your hair tangles your hair. And what I mean by that is there, there's two things that happen when you are washing your hair. One of the things that happen is it unravels the retwisted part of your dreadlocks. So if your dreadlocks is not fully locked up and it's only it's only twisted, whenever you're washing your dreadlocks, it will untwist itself out and then it will just be like a mess, basically. Second thing that happens is those loose hair that you already have, like, you know, the one, two strings that you have inside your hair lock and those hairs that are not integrated with the rest of the dreadlocks happen to it tangles your hair with the other set of dreadlocks that you got going on so that's the two things that I've noticed when I wash my hair and I know you guys have noticed that also 
So all to say is stop touching your hair too much, stop trying to mess with it too much, stop trying to wash your hair too much, stop trying to retwist your hair too much. I know there's a lot of too much going on. I know you guys see my hair and it has thinned so much. You have followed me from the beginning journey, you guys know already, and been commenting that my hair has been thinning out. And I'm gonna tell you why that is happening. And you have to listen. When I tell you, you have to listen, like these mistakes that I've learned, you have to take account of why I made the mistakes and how to better your own dreadlocks. I know guys, I've been telling you a lot of bad things as with retwists, but I'm telling you guys though, so that you guys can utilize those things that I'm telling you guys to make it the best out of your dreadlocks. You guys seen my hair. You know what we've been through. You know how it went from being really thick to then and now. My question is, do you want your dreadlocks to thicken up? Do you want your dreadlocks not to break up? Do you want your dreadlocks to mature at its own time? Do you want your dreadlocks to have a healthier look or a cleaner look? You know, they, there could be a lot of people that go with the cleaner look versus a healthier look. Healthier look is when your dreadlock is actually thickening, looks good as it grows out, it's not thinning just like mine. And uh, I'm gonna tell you guys why mine is thinning out so that you guys can learn from my lesson. The reason why that happens is because, you know, you dye your hair. Dyeing your hair is really terrible. Or bleaching your hair. Bleaching your hair is really bad because what it does is it dries out your hair. It takes all the nutrients basically out of your hair. It strips away that a color. And that color is what mostly where the, where the things that you need for your hair is at. But once you strip that out, your hair is automatically gonna dry out, literally. What, that's what bleach does, it dries your hair, it strips. Your hair so that I'm not trying to be a hypocrite or anything like that I have done that I have had my shares with bleaching and I'm going through another phase of dyeing my hair so I'm gonna end up really hurting my hair but it's not gonna be as crazy as bad as what it seems and what I'm making it seem like but I want you guys to be careful on your hair because I've seen a lot of people that killed their dreadlocks because they try to bleach it or that your dreads fall apart breakage is the natural thing it's a natural process of your dreadlocks that will happen no matter how much you moisturize and no matter how much you do it but you can minimize it with using these tools that I'm giving you out so the benefits are you guys see the new growth right there is way more thicker than the rest of the hair and that is because i literally didn't get a retwist or nothing like crazy like that for a while my hair has been retwisted but with just water and water is not really bad to it unless you put so much water and you don't let it dry and stuff that could be a problem too but i don't put gel i don't put wax be wax things like that to lock my roots up and to look to go for the cleaner look versus a healthier look and it could be a pain in the butt sometimes to look at your hair and to like oh my goodness i need a retwist but but really, if you give it at least one month to two months before you actually go to a professional retwist or you professionally retwist your hair, that'll be a good amount of time to let your hair mature, to hit your, to hit, to let your hair lock up, to let your hair look healthy and be healthy in itself. Cool little benefit for females that have drill lock is that you know when you guys retwist your hair too much, especially females, you know you guys like to take care of your hair more than men. And so you guys gonna end up, no matter what, trying to touch your hair, trying to do something to your hair, you twist your hair so much. But be careful because you're gonna end up touching a lot of your hair and things like you know your edges, things that make your hair look full. You're gonna end up touching those things and stripping away you know those baby hairs. And you don't want to touch your baby hairs for females because I see a lot of females actually that had burnt their, I don't know if they burnt it, I don't know if they shaved it, what I don't know what happened. But through time, I think I guess uh, what happens is they start losing their baby hair. The you know it just thins out, of course is already thin and it just falls apart and it's hard to really regrow a baby hair it's rather better that you don't touch it so if you're retwisting your hair too much females stop touching your edge up and i've told men for their part on hair lining up be careful when you line your hair up you should just line your hair up with your baby hairs don't do products don't do, try to get the sprays the black sprays they put on you you don't know what chemicals are the, they, they're based on you know and i see a lot of men you know coming out the barbershop looking crispy but the hairline that they used to have before they started getting those crispy you know barber barbering they don't have those no more and i'm telling you guys it's because you guys touch your hair you guys touch your baby hairs and you guys try to line it up by you know combing it down in the front and trying to go back with the lineup trying to make a crispy lineup instead of actually worrying about the future baldness that's coming to your dreadlocks or to your hair so i said a lot i know i said a lot i did say a lot 
but I try to make it as entertaining as possible so you guys can learn a lot of things and go throughout the whole video. But make sure you guys give me a like and subscription, but I'm gonna tell you guys one more thing before I let you go, and that is be caution about certain things. First thing first is you wanna be caution that just cause I told you guys not to retwist your hair, uh, that, that I'm not saying that you just let your hair grow to where it looks crazy, it's not maintained, it's not moisturized or anything like that. So make sure you guys moisturize your hair. That is first thing first. Especially for those of you guys that do get like a dry scalp and dry skin, you have to get your hair some oil, man. Second thing I want you guys to know besides moisturizing your hair is you guys be caution about separating your hair. What I mean by that is after you take a shower, like I said, those few pieces of strings of hair ends up attaching to the other side of the dreadlocks, thus creating semi-freeform of your locks, especially if they're not split at that moment. So after you wash your hair, split your hair, split your hair, wash your hair, split your hair, wash your hair, split your hair. Just like how you wash it with a shampoo, you rinse it. Part of the process, right? You wash it, you rinse it, you split, and you dry. And even after you dry, sometimes you should double split it again. But that is to make sure that the section of your hair stays in the section. I'm not talking about retwisting. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, if you learned one thing, and if you ain't got no socks on, hit the like button. But if you live somewhere cold and you got a socks on, hit the like button too. <laughs> no, I heard that from one of these YouTube. Check out the previous video, but till next time, keep acting the verse and creating your universe. I'm acting the verse and I'm out. Stay tuned, you dig? Get a shop at activers.com, y'all. If y'all want to support me, this is how y'all do it. You're not.